Hey, how are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? How's everybody? How are you guys? How are you? Everything Hello. good? Hello, good to see you guys. Good to see you. I, how are you feeling I'm today? What? I feel very good. You feel good today? Yes. Why because, is that? Because in class now. Because you're in class now. All right. Yeah. It's good to hear that. It's good to hear that. All right. Very good, guys. So let's see, guys. Um, so who's missing? We got quite a few people missing today. All right. Welcome, Jennifer, uh, Natalie, Arabella. How are you? Right. All right, so how far are we in the platform now, guys? Can you repeat again? Hey, how far are we in the, you know, the, the platform now? But is it almost finished? Did you finish section two, three already? For me, the section three, uh, I cannot, uh, I cannot complete some exercise. Like from from the section three. Uh huh. All right. So if you want, while we wait for everybody else to come, all right? Let's take a look into section three. All right. So which one, uh, which question from section three are you not able to complete? Uh, three point four. Three point four? Three point four? Yeah. Yes. All right. Three point four. So this one right here? Yes. I just okay. complete the first one and the, and the third one, I think so. Okay. All right. Uh, all right, so here you go. Did you all have the same issue, guys, or ha you, you've you not reached this bad part um, yet? So, okay, so yes. the first one is... All right, I so remember yeah. I couldn't answer correctly, like two of, of the four answers. Okay. So the first one is, um, the first one is um, if if I use your computer, right, and then question mark at the end. The second one is giving me a ride to work, right, and then question mark at the end. Help me move on on Saturday, and then question mark at the end. And then giving me a second piece of pie and then question mark at the end, right? So there we go. So um let's see, you uh you want to use your roommate's computer, is it okay if I all right? So this is fine. You mm -hmm. like to you would like for your neighbor to give you a right to work. Would you mind giving me a right to work? Okay, that is fine. You want a, you want a friend to help you move on Saturday? Could you help me move on Saturday? All right, that's fine too. And you would like your aunt to give you a second piece of pie. I was wondering if, you've, if you'd mind, right? And then, you know, giving me a second piece of pie, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so, so that's what it is. Thank you. All right. Um, anybody and, else, please? Yes, go ahead. And the other one, too, 3.12. 3.12. Okay. Let's see what we have on 3.12. So what's, did you finish them all? Mm, yes, I, I finished, but I have. Two, two, two incorrect. Which one? Let me check. 
So it says reward the sentences I as indirect requests. The second words. one and the fourth one. Okay. All right. So uh so this one and and this one, right? Well, we're gonna get here, okay? Mm -hmm. We still we still haven't talked about this, but what is the answer that you have in number two? What answer do you have? Number let me check. I put when the No, I don't have it. No? Yeah. I, did, no. Hey, good evening, guys. Uh, did anybody else finish it, guys? Yes, teacher. All right. What do you have in number two? Uh, number one is, could you ask Tony? Could, could, mm -hmm. could. Right. Good. Right. Could you ask Tony? Yes. All right. Okay. And, num and number two? Number two is... If he's going to the party with you. If, if what? If. If, if he's. If. No, 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 she's. Ella. If she. If she's. Uh, la, la, she. Exactly, exactly. Going to the party with Jeff. With Jeff. With Jeff. Okay. All right, very good. So let's see. All right, we we're gonna create that one. Okay. All right, number number three. Number three is could you ask Kevin? Mm -hmm. Right. Could you ask Kevin? And number four. Number four is if he is going to give Tony a cue. If he's going or if he's going to give Tony a gift? Going to the give Tony. All right. Okay. Sin no interrogación. Sin no interrogación de falta. Okay. Uh, question mark. Uh, yes, question mark. All right, maybe okay. we need a question mark here, right? Yes. Yeah. Same. All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. There we go, guys. Good job. All right. Anyways, all right. Good. Good, good, good. All right, guys. So yesterday, all right, anything else, guys, from Section 3? No. Nope. We're good? All right. If you still have the same problem, Jennifer, there is something wrong that you have put in there. Like, it, it could be something very small, like an extra space something very small right but that right there if you have the same answer that we have right you have something different there right uh what is the answer that you have in 3.4 uh jennifer 3.4 let's see 3.4 the, the same ones that you write nope that's not no? possible nope it's not possible. There, there is something different from your answers. Which one is incorrect? Uh, number two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. And what are your answers? Mm, the second one is giving me a right to work. Question mark. Yes. No space, right? Are you, are you sure that you don't have a space afterwards or before? Let, I, I will check right now. Okay, right. Oh. Yeah. All right, all right. Very good. I, I think you are right. Maybe I have a double space. All right, okay. So let's check, all right, and uh, we'll see. 
Thank All right. you. Anybody else, guys? Number three, forty, teacher. Number what? I'm sorry. Three, four. Next. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Three, three, six. You mean? No. Yes. Three, four. This one. Yes. It's yes. that's the one we were looking at. Oh no, no, this one is different, right? Uh, no. If I use your computer, giving me a ride to work, help me move on Saturday? Question mark. Give me a second piece of pie? Question mark. All right. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Um, all right, guys. Okay. So, uh, where anybody else, guys? All right. So, Jennifer, let me know if you're able to correct it, okay? If not, for some reason. All right. I'm just copying and pasting the answers there. If you copy and paste them, right, that shouldn't give you any problem, all right? And yes, guys, don't leave any, any extra spaces because it might be, you know, sometimes it happens, right? Extra spaces, you know, will not allow to get the right answer. All right, let's see. Giving me right to work. Giving me right to work? Did you see the mistake there, Jennifer? It's not the same answer. Giving me a ride to work. Are you sure that's the right answer? No. <laughs> um, do, do, do you see the mistake? No? Give me, give, give me. Giving me a ride. That, that is incorrect. That is grammatically incorrect. Okay. Giving me a ride to work. You're missing the article. Do you see that? <laughs> No, I don't see it. No. <laughs> Maybe it's the night. <laughs> <laughs> the answer, okay. The answer that you gave me says giving me ride to work. And the right answer is giving me a ride to work. Question mark. No? All right. Mm -hmm. So your, your answer, okay. All right. So take a look at my screen. Your answer is this, giving me ride. Oh. And, and you didn't place a question mark. So this is your answer. It's incorrect. This is the right answer. Ah, this right here. You see that? Oh, and then, my God. And then question Thank mark. Thank you. All right. So all right. It's okay. It's all right. Very good. Thank you. Anybody else, guys? Now, guys, you cannot say, by the way, right? Giving me a ride doesn't exist in English, okay? Because okay. ride, it's accountable now. You need to place an article before accountable now, right? But very good, okay? Did it work now, Jennifer? All right, that's okay. That's okay. All right, guys, so I guess that's it, right? So, um, so if you don't have any other questions, guys, let's move on, right? So yesterday we were talking about um, we're talking about requesting, you know, making requests with models, right? All right. So now, um, how do we make requests, guys? Okay. So let's keep talking about requests, right? How do we make requests that doesn't, that don't really sound like requests? Okay. How do we make indirect requests? Have you ever seen that, the guys, that, that part that, like, it's a request, but it's not, um, it's not really a question, right? In fact, guys, there's something. Okay, let me let me see something here real quick. There's something about this right here. Hold on. Uh, it's okay if I use computer. No, this one is okay. Um, no. If you ask Tony, no, the, okay, it's fine, All right? It's fine. All right, <clears throat> but let's keep talking about, you know, requests, right? 
So there is a there is a part here, guys, that talks about um, indirect requests. Okay. So here, hold on. Right. Now, if you take a look at the first example, right? Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Right? Notice that that is within parentheses. Parentheses. Why is it within the parentheses? Parentheses? Because we do not need it, right? I mean, it's optional. You can say uh, you can use it or you can live without it and you're going to be absolutely fine, right? Can you tell Jeff not to be late? Right. So when we have statements, guys, a statement is just, you know, um, a statement is, is just a sentence. OK. All right. Jeff, Tony is having a party. Right. So if you let's say that you're delivering information to somebody. Right. If we say something like this. We can uh, we can tell other people. Right. Which is called. Reported speech. OK. Now. How do we do that? How do we request on behalf of somebody else? Okay. Instead of saying, guys, uh, hey, Alexander, you know, um, Noah, Noah is, is, uh, Noah is going to work tomorrow. Instead of saying that, I can say, could you tell, right? Could you tell uh, Carla that Noah is uh, going to work tomorrow, right? That would be a request for me to tell, you know, uh, somebody else, right? If somebody says, you know, hey, uh, Alexander, don't be late, I can say, hey, can you tell Alexander not to be late, right? Uh, let me, I'll show you something, guys, hold on. Oh. <laughs> what? No, no. Not be sure. All right. I'm just um, going to use the whiteboard for a moment. Okay. So here's the thing, guys. Okay. So, um, so let's say, right? Let's say that uh, you want to tell somebody else, you know, what somebody else told you or requested, right? So for example, right, we take a look at statements, right? So we have statements, uh, we have our first statement that says, mm, I don't know, tell me something, uh, uh, tell me something your mom guys would ask you to do. What is something that your mom would ask you to do? Do the dishes. Okay, all right. So, okay, so your mom says, you know, um, let's say that we're talking about Giselle today, right? So, you know, Giselle mom says, hey, Giselle, do the dishes, right? Okay. So this is an order, right? Right, so we're gonna leave it under, we're gonna leave it under imperatives, okay? Imperatives, okay? All right, so here under statements, we have, um, let's say that we have a, you know, we have a, we have a fun mom, right? And she says, I'm going to have to a crazy party today, right? Or well, tonight. I'm going to a crazy party tonight. That, that's what your mom said, right? She's, <laughs> right? So anyways, okay, so how do you, right? Let's say that we have Mr. Right. Uh, let's say that we're going to report this. All right, let's say that we're going to report this, okay? 
Okay. So we have Mr. Chambres here. All right, Mr. Chambres. We're going to call him Mr. Chambres, okay? So Mr. Chambres says, you know, what your mom said, right? So he says, hey, um, let's see. Let's say that you're going to tell this to Arabella, right? So we say, hey, Arabella, you know, um, mom or your mom, right? Your mom says that, and we're going to leave this within parentheses, that she's going to a crazy party tomorrow with, um, with her lover, right? Remember, it's Mr. Chambers, right? Who see, he's, he's adding to the information. No, I'm kidding. No, so to a crazy party tomorrow, right? It's not that bad, right? So he says tomorrow, right? Leave it there. Okay. So Arabella, right? Your mom says that she's going to a crazy party tomorrow, right? So, so this involves three people now, right? So you're reporting this to a different person now, okay? And the way you do that is that you say, all right, you, you change a couple of things. What are the things that we're changing here? Well, we're changing, you know, um, we're changing the, the pronoun, right? So instead of saying, I am going to a crazy party tonight, and hold on, we should say instead of tomorrow, tonight, right? Yep. So instead of, you know, so we're changing the this, right? Because we're not talking, I mean, she's not the one talking now, right? So you're going to say she, right? She is going to a crazy party tonight, okay? Everything else remains the same, okay? The other thing that we add, guys, is that we also add, you know, whoever was talking, okay? In this case, we know that her mom was talking. So she says, your mom, right? Now, if you hadn't been our, our, our Bella's mom, we would have said, you know, somebody else's mom, right? Okay. But basically, guys, we keep the same, but we just change the subject, right? Now, here, guys, the important part is that we, uh, this doesn't really matter. You know, this part right here, that. So you can say that, guys, or you can say the same sentence without that, okay? And it means exactly the same. So you don't need to use that, okay? So far, it's good, guys? Uh, can you give an uh, example with this one, with that? With... Um, Another example, another of the same examples? Uh, yes, please. Sure. All right. Okay. Uh, let's say, let's say that we have, I don't know, give me a statement. A statement is just a sentence. You, you mean, give me, you know, tell me something uh, that, that you're going to do tomorrow. Can me tomorrow work? I'm uh, going I mean, to work. No. Okay, no, no. all right. No? Yes or no? Yes. The... True. Yes? Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. So let's go with yes then, okay? All right. So... I'm going. All right. So let's say... All right. Let's forget about this right now, okay? So Alexander, right? So Alexander says, and this is Alexander, right? I'm going yes. to work tomorrow, okay? All right. Let's say that you want to report this to me. So... You're going to substitute, you know, Mr. Chambers, right? So how would you do that? Yes, how would you report this to me, guys? Uh, so tell me, right, what Alexander said, guys. Tell me what Alexander uh, said he was going to do. Mr. Chambers makes a question. What? No, no. You're going to tell me. I, I want somebody to tell me what Alexander said, guys, that he was going to do. So you would say, hey, Alexander said, right, that, what, guys? What, what should be the rest of the sentence here? Uh, 
going to work? He is going to work tomorrow. That he, right? That he is going, right? Or you can say that he's uh -huh. going to work tomorrow, right? Okay. All right. Now, this is if you're reporting, right? But if you're requesting, okay, so let's say then you're not reporting now, right? Let's change this to a request. So if you're requesting, it's the same thing as reporting, right? So you're just going to say, hey, um, let's see, I'm talking to Noah. Let's say, let's say that we're talking to Noah, right? You can say, Noah, right? Could you, could you tell, okay? Could you tell, who oh, guys, who am I asking this to? Could you tell Jennifer, right? Could you tell Jennifer? That Alex is going to work tomorrow, right? And this is how we make that request, right? So we need three people, right? So I, right? I, David, right? I'm telling Noah, or I'm requesting Noah to tell Jennifer that Alex is going to work tomorrow, right? So it's me, David, David, uh, Noah, right? Uh, Jennifer and Alex, actually, right? All of us. Could you tell Jennifer that Alex is going to work tomorrow, right? Another one, right? Let's say that, um, let's say, give me a piece of information. Um, Claudia, are you there, Claudia? Claudia. Yeah, I'm here, sorry. All right. All right, thank you, Claudia. Uh, give, me, give me a piece of information, tell me something Tell me something that um, that you're going to do tomorrow. Um, I'm going to work, and, and then I'm going to go to the gym. Okay. All right. So let's say that, okay, so Claudia says, right, this is Claudia, and she says, I'm going. Now, you know what? Tell me something that your mom or dad is going to do tomorrow. Okay, my mom is going to go to the church. She's going to go to church, right? To church. Okay, mom, my mom is going to go to church. Church, okay. all right? Okay. Very good, guys. So how can I request somebody to tell somebody else that, you know, that she's going to church? I can say, okay. Mm, I'm going to tell Natalie, right? Let's say, could you, or you can say, can you guys, okay? Or would you please, change this to would you please. Would you please tell Natalie that, who's going, guys? Who's going to church tomorrow? Claudia's mom. Very good, okay. Could you please tell Natalie that Claudia's mom will, or is going, right? Is going to church, or is going to go to church tomorrow? Okay. So what you learned before, guys, can be applied here. You can say, can you please tell Natalie? Um... You can say, would you please tell Natalie, you know, right, et cetera, right? So let's leave it at, can you please tell Natalie that Claudia's mom is going to church tomorrow, right? And this would be an example, guys, of, an, of, of a statement, okay? Of a request using, you know, um, using a statement, okay? If I say... I'm gonna give you another one, right? So this is gonna be David. Uh, I'm teaching a class. So let's see, guys. I want you guys, right, to tell to tell Alexander what I'm doing. How would you do that? How could you request that? Could you please tell Alexander? Very good. So you would be saying. Uh, so you would be saying, could you please tell Alexander 
Uh -huh. That David going to teach. That David what? Going to teaching. David going. going. To teach. David going, going are you sure? You. David going, are you sure? David is going. To... Is, right? David is. Going to. Going to. Teach. Teach. Mm, I don't know. You, me. Is going to cape. Okay. Is going to teach. Are you? I mean, I said I'm teaching a class like right now, right? So what mm -hmm. will be the right answer? Uh, David is going to teach them. No. Okay. Okay. Him. okay that that would be okay if I were talking about the future, right? But. I am talking about the present. So what do you think? If I'm talking about the present, what do you think? He's teaching uh, a class. David right? is teaching a class. Very good, uh, right? So he's teaching a class. Now you can say right now, right? Like at the moment, right? Anyways, but you can say this. Could you please tell Alexander that David is teaching a class, right? So yes. that would be in present continues right okay um all right very good what about let's say i don't know simple past right so you know this is what i said right oh i um i played the guitar yesterday right oh you know what i played the guitar yesterday Okay, so I want I want you guys, I want everybody to try to do this in your notebook. I want you to report what I said yesterday, okay? Uh, I want you to tell, you're going to report it as if you're telling Catherine, okay? You're going to tell Catherine, right? I want you to request to tell this, you know, to Catherine, right? I'll give you one minute to complete the exercise, okay? So let's let's request it in your notebook, guys. Okay, and then I'm gonna ask you. Let's go. All right, try it. All right, guys, so let's see. So what do we have? Um, who wants to give me their example, guys? Go ahead. You know, whatever example you have in your notebook, send it in the chat, okay? I have Giselle's. Good job. Giselle, good job, right? Uh, David should be capitalized, right? In capital with capital D. Uh, but other than that, it's okay, right? Also, guys, notice. I want you to notice, guys, that that right. 
is optional, right? You don't need to use that. It's okay if you use it, but you don't need to, okay? Right? Very good. So, all right. So, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, Carla, what, what, what answer do you have? Oh, I got, I got your answer. Can you please tell Catherine that David played the guitar yesterday? Very good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Um, let's see, Natalie. What answer do you have, Natalie? Can you hear me, guys? Natalie, hello. And uh, could you tell Catherine that David played his guitar yesterday? Okay, could you tell Catherine that? Right. We can. Yeah, we can. We can skip that, guys. Okay. Could you tell Catherine David played right played the guitar yesterday? <laughs> Very good job. All right. Did you all have the same answer, guys? Thank you very much, Natalie. Did you all have the same answer, guys? Yes. All right. Great, great. Guys, cameras turned on, guys, because otherwise, I know, right? I know we want to be in the bathroom, right, and everything. You know, <laughs> taking the class from there, which is fun. But, all right, it's, it's just one hour, guys. Just one hour. I survived for one hour without the camera. I'm with the camera. All right. All right. Very good. Uh, okay, guys, if you had a different answer, guys, please ask me the questions, you know, and we should be good. Okay. All right. So now, what happens when we have imperatives, right? Imperatives, guys, we said imperatives were what yesterday? What are imperatives, guys? Imperatives, remember? What are they? Commands, orders, right? Your mom telling you to clean the dishes when you were young, right? So, mom, right? Clean the dishes. I right? clean the dishes, right? It's an order, right? So, that's an imperative, okay? So, for imperatives, we are going to do the same, right? We're going to say, uh, can you right? Can you tell Alexander to clean the dishes? Okay, guys, let me ask you something. What is the difference here? What is the difference between requesting, you know, something, um, you know, reporting, right? The request of an imperative versus a statement. What is the difference? That is not an um, order, is if he wants to. <laughs> okay, if he wants to, okay, exactly, right? The statement if is if, if he wants to, right? However, what is the difference in the request this time? Because it's not the same, right? What are the differences that we see in this part here and here? Uh, in the first part, we use that. In the second one, Okay. That. Okay. In the it's, first uh, word, we use that, right? Yeah. That. Uh -huh. Okay. So basically, it's this, guys, right? That is correct. We cannot say, let's say that we use could, right? Could you tell Alex, right? Could you tell Alex that his mom, you know, one, right? This is not it, right? Could you tell Alex two? Okay. All right, two. Instead of saying that now, guys, or not using that, right? We say two, and do we say the imperative to clean the dishes, right? Right. Let me give you another example. Okay, let's say, you know, let's talk about your teacher, right? 
do your homework. You know what? Complete the platform. <laughs> Complete the platform. I'm sorry, the platform, right? Platform. Okay, so complete the platform. All right. So how can I how can I report this, right? It's not it's not a not asking you a favor, right? Your teacher was not asking you for a favor. You had to complete it, right? Complete the platform, mm -hmm. right? So you would say, hey, you know, can you really say can you, right? Can you can you tell uh, can you tell Dualupe? What? Dualupe, right? Could you tell Dualupe? That baby. No. Ah, the no. Can you tell Dualupe to to complete the platform? Okay. Okay, to complete the platform, right? Can you tell Dualupe to complete the platform, right? Can you tell, right? Could you, could you tell Alex to clean the dishes? Can you tell Dualupe to complete the platform, right? Very good. You can say instead of tell, guess you can also say, could you, can you ask, right? But that would be more like well, as a request. Could you can you tell Dualupe to complete the platform? All right, very good, guys. So for imperatives, right? We're gonna change this to two this time around, right? Teacher, tell me, tell me. Uh, uh, we use uh, please in this uh, statement. Mm, all right, can okay. uh, I'll I'll let your classmates answer that question for you guys. Is it okay, guys? Is it okay if I use please? Can you please tell Dualipa to complete the platform? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, guys. Yes, you can tell. You can say please. It's okay. Right? I mean, it's all right, right? Could you please tell Alex, right? Could you please tell Alex? Would you please tell Alex? Would you be so kind to tell Alex to clean the dishes, right? All right. <laughs> uh, now, I would be scared, guys. When I was a kid, I would be scared if I hear some something like, would you be so kind to clean the dishes? That means that your mom is really, really upset, you know? <laughs> so anyways, but yeah, it's possible, guys, you know? It is possible. Is it? Is it okay? I don't think so, but it is possible. Now, is it okay from your mom's perspective? No, right? But it is correct grammatically, right? All right, it is grammatically correct, okay? That's what we care. All right. Um, all right, so I'll let you do one yourself, guys, okay? I'm going to say, you know what? You guys give me an imperative. Give me a command, guys. Give me a command. Command me. To exercise. To exercise. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's yeah. okay, right? Okay, so so you? Get big. Alexander, okay, so Alexander told me oh. to do exercise, right? So do exercise, okay? Do exercise, David. No, right. no, no, no. Okay. All right, guys. So how how are you gonna request this, guys? Let's go. All right. Uh, do it in your notebook and then we're gonna check the answers. We do tell Maria. Yeah. To do exercise. Remember that he told me, right? He he's um he's requesting this to me, right? He's commanding me, David, right? Okay. Alexander. Would you tell Alexander? All right. Hold on, hold on. Do it in your notebook first and then I'll ask you, okay? I'll ask everybody. Uh playing now Hold on. you're still seeing the whiteboard right yes you are all right very good so complete it then then we'll see it here guys
right? Okay, guys. So, all right. So, what what do you have, guys? How are you? How are you going to report? I have your answers here. Right? So I got. I got. Can you tell David to do exercise? Can you tell David to do exercise? Could you tell David Alexander said do exercise? No. Could you tell David Alexander asked Tim to do exercise? That would be a better answer there. Can you tell David to do exercise? Very good. Would you like to tell David to do exercise? Now, would you like to tell David, guys, to, to do exercise is not correct uh, just because of the like part, right? It's okay grammatically, but it's not really like asking for, like reporting a request, you know? Please, can you tell David to do exercise? Okay, very good. All right. Yes, yeah, so the answer, right, would be can you or can, could you, right? Let's say could, just for the sake of it. Could you tell David to do exercise, right? Okay. All right. Now, what if it is negative? So let's say, guys. Hey, couldn't. Couldn't. That I'm, I'm going to request, guys. No. Okay. no, hold on. Hold on. All right. Okay. Don't, don't come late. Okay. So what if I okay. said something like this? I would say, uh, could you tell... I don't know. Uh, could you tell Cheyenne, right? Not. Okay, now here's, this one is very important, right? We're not going to say don't, okay? We're going to say not. Not to, okay? Not to. Could you tell Cheyenne not to? Come late. Okay? All right, so... If we request something like this, guys, we're not going to use don't, okay? Just just keep that in mind. We're going to say not, okay? All right, so what would be, what would be, guys, okay? So I'm going to say, uh, what would be the request that you would say if I said something like, hey, uh, don't, Don't uh, don't participate. <laughs> I'm never gonna say this, right? But what if I said don't participate? Okay, how would you report this, guys? How would you request that? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How would you request this, guys? Mm -hmm. But you say to everybody or or just uh, one person? Uh, actually, that's very good. Let's say that I'm telling this to everybody. I'm requesting this to everybody. everybody. So how would you say it? Mm -hmm. Let's see, Claudia. How would you say, Claudia? Okay. Will you tell um, Maria um, not say, to? Everyone, right? I'm telling this to everyone. Okay. Can you tell everyone? Not everyone not to participate? Not to participate, right? Good job, Claudia, all right? Very good job. Okay, so yes, guys, that would be the right answer, right? So that is with imperatives. Do we have any questions with imperatives? We're good, right? So next step, guys, we have, we have um, yes or no questions, right? This one is interesting. 
Okay, so we have yes and no questions, right? So for example, you know, let's say that you have, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, do you, let's say that this, I don't know, let's talk about uh, Carla, right? So we say Carla, Carla says, um, well, ask me a yes or no question, Carla. Go ahead. Uh, would you like to prepare the dinner? All right, okay. All right, so it's not a do, you know, the auxiliary is not do, right? Or does, right? So she says, would you like to prepare dinner, okay? Would you like to prepare dinner, All right? How would we answer, how would we turn these guys into, you know, you know, reporting? What do you think? All right, let's try it. You can say, can you ask David if, okay? Now here, guys, we're going to change, all right, instead of, instead of that or instead of uh, two, we're going to say if. Can you ask David if he would like to prepare dinner? Can you ask David if he would like to prepare dinner? Right? Okay. So that's good, right? What if I said, all right, let's say that she says, right? Um, um, hold on. What if, what if I'm telling this to, to someone else? Can you ask, well, no, can you ask David if you would like to prepare dinner? It's fine, right? Let's say, you know what, let's change this to Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne, do you like to sing? How would you report this, guys? How would you request this? Can you ask Cheyenne? No, Cheyenne is asking, right? Cheyenne is asking. Uh, can you ask uh, Jennifer? Can you ask Jennifer, right? Jennifer? If, if she would, or not, if she. If she. Mm, like to sing. No. If she like, she likes. Mm, likes to, to sing. sing. Very good. Good job, right? Can you ask Jennifer if she likes to sing? Good job. Good job, guys. Good job, right? So notice, right? Notice it has to be a yes or no question, guys, okay? It doesn't matter what tense you're talking about, okay, or what tense you're talking in, right? It has to be a yes or no question, okay? So one for you guys, okay? Let's say, all right, I'll, I'm gonna, uh, David, right? I want you to, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm telling this. Um, um, do you, no, will you dance? Um, no, will you study, right? Will you study? with me tomorrow, okay? Do that in your notebook, guys, okay? Now, this one is a little bit more complex because I, I'm involving, right, another person, right? So let's try to do it in, in our notebook, okay? How would you say that? My God, guys, is it me or does everybody? 
uh, or, or everybody looks more tired today, you know? I am more tired today. But everybody seems like you're like me today. <laughs> All right. So let's see. So how would you do this, guys? Can you Ooh, ask? No. Hmm? Can you ask? Sorry. Can be. You tell me. You tell me. You're you're the boss. You're the expert. Tell me. I'll mm -hmm. I'll, I'll help you if, if you know if it is incorrect. Okay. Good job, Giselle. By the way, your answer is correct. Now, now, Giselle, you're you're. One thing that you're missing, Giselle, uh, is the verb be. We, you always miss the verb be. He is. He is going right. Very good. Good job. Good job. Yeah, I, uh, in that case, we can use will. That yes, you, you can use you can. What, what is your what is your answer? Try give me your answer, and I'll let you know. Uh, will you? No, with Alex. Do Do you have it in your notebook? No. All right, I have it in your notebook first. Wait. Okay. All right, who okay. has the answer already, guys? Let's get the answer. Let's get the power. Uh-huh. Give me a second, give me a second. Just one person, guys. Just one person. All right, let's Jennifer, Jennifer, right? Uh do you have the answer? Will you ask Alex if he wants to stay with me tomorrow? Very good, right? Would you would you ask Alex, right? If he wants to study with me tomorrow, right? All right, this, this is grammatically correct, right? But uh, remember, who wants to study with who? David wants somebody else to study with him, right? So you okay. would be, would you ask Alex if he will, right? You can say if he wants to study, right? That's correct. If he wants to study with okay. David tomorrow, right? Very good. That would be correct too. Or you can say, okay. uh, Alex, yes. Do you have an answer, Alex? Can, can I say, can you will? No, can you will? No, no. Uh -uh. no. no. Will yeah. is a model. Can is a model too, right? Ah, uh, in that case, uh, okay. Can, right. So can you tell, right, Alex, you can say Alex, right? If he will study tomorrow. with David, David tomorrow, okay? Can you tell Alex if he will study with David tomorrow? All right? Mm -hmm. So that, that is great, right? Okay. You have to make reference, guys, to whoever is asking the request. Okay. In that case, that would be David. All right. Was that clear, guys? Yeah. yeah. All right. And lastly, guys, okay, before we leave, guys, I know it's almost time. Guys, time, time went by so fast today. Tonight, you know, I didn't feel the time. Maybe you did, right? But I didn't feel it. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> WH questions. Okay, just the last, one, the last one, guys, before we leave. Okay, so with WH questions, we're gonna do this. Okay. Um, so wait. So WH questions. Okay. All right. So we're gonna say. We are going to say, I don't know, guys, what is your name? What is your name? All right. I'm very creative, right? David, say it. What is your name, right? So I'm going to say, guys, right? How can I request this, guys? All right. Mm -hmm. Can you, right? Can you ask? Tell. Who? Can you ask her, right? Can you ask her? 
uh, what, now we're gonna use the WH question here, right? What her name is. Can you ask her what her name is? Okay, simple as that. Um, when is your birthday? Okay, could you ask, you can say him, them, right? Could you ask uh, Cheyenne? When? Give me the rest, guys. Let's see. Is his birthday? No, no, no. I, okay, this is the reason why I was asking you to give me this example. When? Okay? No. He's. Right. When he's very good, right? Birthday is. When his birthday is. Is, right? Exactly, guys. Okay. So, here, guys, if we're not asking a question, we're not going to say, when is his birthday, right? We need to say, when his birthday is, okay? So, um, so the structure is a little bit different, okay? So, what do we, what do we, what do we use, guys? We use the same word that we use in the WH word, followed by her name, followed by the subject, okay, of what would be otherwise the sentence the, the the sentence okay right and that's that's what we do guys okay you answered guys most of the platform uh so congratulations i really like that um this um on friday guys on friday we're gonna be going over the assessment okay all right any questions guys do we have any questions all right are we sleepy are we gonna have a good night I'm very sleepy, guys. Very tired. You look tired too. All right, so let's let's go to rest, guys. Thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thank see you. you tomorrow. tomorrow. We're gonna have, we're gonna have hey, by the, way, by the way, before you go, guys, before you leave, we're gonna have a class this this Friday. Okay. okay. Yes, we are. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, okay. guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.